What's going on, everybody? How you guys doing today? Welcome to part of the uh, what? I'm not messing around. Today's part of the tribe. This is where we're at today. Part of the tribe. Damn. Damn. No. I'm part of the tribe. Oh. Oh. God. You shut up. Oh, he was recording. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Part of the tribe. Absolutely. Welcome to part of the tribe. I'm the board of Or wherever. Wherever. So, <laughs> we just wanted to say and welcome our special guests. Michelle Mupo. Michelle Mupo, the owner of Mupo Entertainment, and Jill Mupo. <laughs> Jill Pong. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? We are awesome. We're Good. getting ready for the gala. We're very, very, very excited. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Welcome to the tribe, by the way. Well, yeah, we love the tribe. on our show for once. Yeah. Yeah. We love the tribe. Are you excited to be able to start thinking in? Love us. Super huh? excited. Super excited. Aesthetic. <laughs> you got a brother, you got a brother on one side, you got a poppy on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice to be in the middle. Mm -hmm. All right. That's All right. Little, little, little Latino heat, huh? A little Latino heat, huh? A little Latino heat. Huh? Little Latino heat. Huh? Jamaican. That's not my foot, by the way. No, you're not. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not Jamaican. He's hey, like man, a famous actor. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, yeah, so he's saying I'm German, I'm not. My people are from Haiti. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's something place right here. Haitian. Haitian. What? Haitian. What? Hey. What? I know. Anyway, so anyway, listen, so we brought you guys here today because we have the gallery coming up. It right? goes all over yes. the place constantly, just never stays on script. I just Who? start talking to you. Well, we're going to start talking just... about the gallery, but then you brought up Haiti, and then I just started going in my head like, God. Uh, you need to come over here more. You know? But you I need to come like, closer. I want to right in the politics. I want to talk crap. I like him. Right in the politics. Now. Now. And just so everybody knows that the head you see in front of you <laughs> is Barrage. That's Barrage right there. That's our camera guy. Yeah. <laughs> but is German in there too? Because all you see is Barrage. I'm in there. Back in I'm in there. Hey, hey German. And let's I, hand this. We need to hand this. I can hear. Because you, you say can. Trump's name three times. He'll appear. Did I say oh, Trump? Trump. Oh, Jesus. I said what? Trump's name? Three Trump. times? On the way here? I said it three times. No. On the way here? No, show up. Yeah. How many people are here? Just like for four. Is everybody here? There's no so there's Bobby. There's Michelle, the other owner of Mupo Entertainment. There's Jill. There's German, aka Sonny. And there's Body Barrage. And me. Wait, did you just say body barrage? Body barrage. I know. It sounded like you were like body barrage. Yeah. Like some type of lotion. Yeah. So us four are part of the tribe. Michelle's the owner of Mupo Entertainment. Say neighbor. Neighbor. <laughs> my neighbor. Go to the chopper. Yeah. Anyway. You did that good. What does my bracelet say? It says you matter. Hey, hey. Because my son gave you that. It's a good strip. Anyway. You know we're shooting the podcast. I know, I know. I'm just going. I'm just going to ask questions. Okay. So anyway. We brought you guys here. Well, actually, we came here to you. <laughs> yeah, this is our house. Yeah, we came to Jill's oh, house. We're, 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 in, we're in Jill's house right now. We're in pretty much sunny, over everywhere we're at. Sunny New Jersey, okay? For Jersey's anybody that doesn't to... know, Jersey's the place to aspire getting out of if you're already in <laughs> Okay? But we made it. Yeah. We're yeah. here. And if you find yourself in Jersey, Go to Gala, MupoGala.com. And, and Edison, New Jersey. Out. And it's in, in Edison, New Jersey. And if you know somebody named Edison and you're in them, then you're probably at the Gala. Let's, let's put this out right now that, that the mic's not even on. <laughs> this mic, this mic, you're, you're holding just to be clear for the record, this on. mic yeah. is not on. It's not even on. But I can make it sound like it's one if I do something like this. No, it didn't. No? No, it didn't. So what? Uh, I feel, I feel empowered. You know, well, whatever he does have a mic, he doesn't use it anyway. I don't use it when I do have a mic. I think he just likes to, I, I think he just likes to go up there, mind. Yeah. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about the gala. So, Michelle, what do we need to do to make these galas spectacular? Okay, so seriously, we need to sell tickets. It's going to be a smaller event than last year, only mm -hmm. because we're filming, and it was a hassle getting everyone's NDAs to sign, and we want a lot of celebrities <clears throat> there, so that it's just um, very convenient for them to launch their shows, too, as well, because I'm sure everybody, when COVID happened, had their own projects come up and about, and then everyone came back to work, and then guess what? Yeah. Let's make this stuff happen. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, last year we had people, what, from the, uh, the 
and the boys from Shakespeare in the Park or whatever, right? Yeah, um, Robert Cachulio. Yeah, yeah, Robert Cachulio. Um, what was the girl's name? Lila Robbins. Lila Robbins was there Lila last year. Lila Robbins. Yes. She Shout was out. on the black. She played the mother in the blacklist. She was on yeah. The Walking Dead. She was in planes, trains, and automobiles. She was also on Shout The Boys out. as the CIA person on The yes, Boys. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That was great to see them there. Yeah, she played um, some very scary characters. Yeah, she played some great parts. Very nice lady. Very nice lady. Um, she good looking. For her age, yeah. I'm just she's looking. I'll say for her age. I know she's good looking. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so so you know, we want to make this thing happen. So it's ninety-seven dollars a ticket, right? To, to it? submit, to it's submit. ninety-seven to submit what they want. Like so, for instance, if you have a podcast and you want to take your podcast to the next level, get nominated. Have your friends nominate you. It's ninety-seven dollars. Um, <clears throat> if you want to get a ticket to the gala, that's uh, mubogala.com. So there is a there is a red carpet event. No. <laughs> Wait, I'm waiting for you to say, wait, who was it I want to come over? How did she do that? Let me in. <laughs> no way to So, oh my god. That was $97, funny. but if you want to get nominated, right? Yeah, that's Something to like get that. nominated. So it's $97 to get nominated. Here, you hold the mic. So, um, 90... <laughs> I'm sorry. All oh, types of horrible jokes. Yeah. So, $97 to get nominated. So, um, there's... If you have a short, if you have um, a movie you want to get in there, if you want to be a rock star and you want to do a famous guitarist, drummer, artist, whatever it is, just put it in there. If it's not in there, type it in, and um, maybe we can create an award for you if you get enough nominees, obviously, nominated responses. Nominations. Yeah, nominations, whatever the heck it's called. Go ahead, you talk, Jill. And uh, no, 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 where can they find us again? Mupogala.com. Mupogala.com. Here's, here's a better yes. question for everything. Let's, let's talk about how this whole thing started. Michelle, you're the creator of this whole thing. I right? am. Mupo Entertainment, right? I am. So let's talk about how you started this whole thing. So what, what drove you to start your own entertainment channel? So um, a bunch of people came up to me and they were like, hey, I want to be famous. And I, obviously I worked with so many people. Um, I've gotten people to the next level <laughs> where they had to be. I take people out of their ordinary patterns and take them to step outside of their patterns and actually make shit happen. Can we curse on here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I have a, I have a, yeah, no, I know you guys are the wrong girl. So I don't know if it's cool. No, to you are a woman. I am woman, hear me roar. I don't know. Who's speaking? This is Michelle Mubo, everybody. I'm going to be taking shorts because I wear them. I rap with this me. I dare them because if he does that, then he'll be making a big mistake and I'll start breaking. Um, but no. I just had a fun around. Shout out to Michelle Mupo, aka Fuchsia, and Jill Pomponio for the special edition of Part of the Tribe. Carry on. teaching about them about the entertainment industry, what to do and what not to do. Obviously with Mubo Entertainment, you own your own content, which means that you can learn how to monetize your own content. A lot of, you know, the big strike happened because these talented individuals did not get paid what they should have got paid. Yeah. And the corporations kept the money. Well, with us, hey, if you sell your own advertising, it's an 80-20 split. You guys get 80%, we get 20%. If we sell the advertising for you, we get 60, you get 40, because obviously we're doing the work. But the other thing is, we're part of a family. If one falls, we all fall. And to be honest, we have some crazy mupos that are just a lot of fun to be with. Wait, this thing ain't even on. We know that it's not on. You've been holding it the whole time. Yeah. 
So that's awesome, Michelle. That's awesome that you're reaching out and you're, you're doing Give it something. Give some hmm? No, that's awesome that you opened up a company and opened up a door for people who typically wouldn't have a chance to do this. You know, that wouldn't have the, the courage to follow through with this. Um, um, you we know, started with no money, too. So yeah. every little bit of money that we earned, we put back into the company. We're how many how many channels do you have on Google right now? Oh, there's got to be at least 40. 40 channels on 40 Google? Shows, but 40 like, shows. Are they all active? Some are archived, some are not archived. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're a trademark company. We have an app on Android and iOS. We're in 144 countries, and our VOD count was... 1,095,000 as of last quarter. I mean, explain to everybody what the VOD count is. Okay, so the VOD count is um, in regular syndication. Mm -hmm. um, you have Nielsen ratings. Well, we have a digital version of the Nielsen ratings, and it's called SIMS. And um, it takes all the numbers. You have to watch it from the be actually the beginning to the end. So you can't. It's not one of those ones where you just click on it. You have to watch it for it to count, and we had uh, 1,095,000 VODs. And do you know the gala? Um, 711 troops are deployed right now, and they're all gonna be watching the gala. That's awesome. Shout out troops. Shout yes. out to troops, absolutely. So that's, that's one of the things that I like about your company too, is that we were big advocates for uh, vets. Definitely. You know, home, you know, you're fighting vets for homes, and, and that's one of the things I'm really proud about this company with, you know, that we actually do this. And save um, the kill shelters. It's and, keep, and you, you know, save the puppies too. Yes. You know what I mean, I get that too, man. You know, that's that's a good thing too. We're big advocates for saving animals, so that's a pretty awesome thing too. Yeah, well, think about before. it. The men and women go out there and they fight for us so that we can be free. Like, think about this holiday. Yeah. Right now is coming up as Easter, right? You know damn right well they're gonna want to be with their families, but yeah. they can't because they're out there doing what they have to do to protect our countries. Yeah. No, it's amazing. Um, so, so 40 channels, right? 40 shows on one 40 channel. shows, all different varieties of shows. Yes. Right? And so we're, we're adding, we need more shows. We need more shows. So if you're interested in doing, if you have your own show that you'd like to do, again, reach out to Bupo Entertainment. Um, you can talk to Michelle, and it'll help you out. Why don't we just have an open call Wednesday at 6.30 Eastern time on MupoZoom.com. Come to the okay, meeting. Okay, open cast and call. I'm gonna go, that's this area's right at time. Yeah, open yeah, cast. Get that on there. Any Wednesday though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, that'd be great, actually, that'd be great. So out of the 40 shows right now, I, I'm just gonna give a little plug to our show. Your show's probably number one. We're number one, part of the tribe on Mupo Entertainment. So yeah, so 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 along with that, man, uh, Jill's one of your biggest advocates for it. Now I'm just sitting over there being all quiet. Um, <laughs> well, I look Jill. at it as though, but I look at it as everyone in Mupo, we're all a part of the company. Yeah. So if you say, hey, I'm a co-owner, I don't give a shit because yeah. you know what? When we start doing very well, obviously the people that are in it and have been in it from the beginning are going to be getting profit sharing. It's going to happen. Yeah. We're I'm doing the closest in proximity. Yeah, because so. yeah, she donates a lot of so, money too. More proximity, like we live next to each other. She shows up my house. Yeah. Basically. Um, basically. <laughs> That's not all that. I do that Bobby all the time. Pretty much. She comes over yeah. every morning with a coffee for me. Coffee. 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 That's like they say, like this with October. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was doing this in October of last year. You know, that was that broken accent. October. Anyway, so yeah, so listen again. Um, um, you know, Michelle, we're very proud of you. You know, you're doing an amazing thing. You're doing an amazing thing. You have the door, you have an opportunity to uh, showcase our talents. You know, we thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. thank yeah. you guys for the count. Yeah. You know, yeah, it was pretty cool. And we're looking forward to the gala, uh, July 26th. You know, uh, we're very excited about that, uh, to be a part of that. And uh, hopefully it's going to be an amazing time. You know. Amazing. Amazing. Right? Tell them Anything else you want to talk about there? Amazing. Oh, a bunch of things, just not in. Yeah. I thought he was going to come in his white robe. What the fuck? <laughs> I told you, remember I said that white outfit that, because you're an actor. You, tell us about your acting. I act. <laughs> He's in a ton actors. of movies. Therefore, yeah. I am. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Good actor here, man. Yeah, any projects coming up? Uh, I have a couple of things that are on the 
the words I really can't discuss too much. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, top secret? Not exactly top secret, but uh, until like Holy paperwork man. is actually signed. <laughs> really? Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> really? So paperwork is actually signed, all right. So you can't talk about it? Not really. All right. Um, I do have... Can, can, can you expand a little bit on, um, on why you're doing these projects? Is there one project uh, that means more to you than another? Or are they all just, uh, you just want to get paid? <laughs> well, um, being a <laughs> black film artist, broke. You know, I, I, yeah, they do, sit, they do not they pay broke, as much. Broke they film artists just don't pay as much. That's why I'm in okay. property management. Are you serious? Oh my do you, goodness! Do you, you know. make now? You just it. said you're a black artist, a black actor artist. You just don't get paid as much. Do you think is it? Is it kind of like? That women is it the same way? Equality. Like, yeah, equality. Do, do you make more than women? Uh, <laughs> wow, that's uh. <laughs> thanks. <man. laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm, I'm only asking you make because more than women in film, Bobby. Because if directors, <laughs> if directors and producers <laughs> can save a ton of money. <laughs> Listen, well, all actors, actors, actors. Actors. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's gotta be my problem. All right. Well, all right. Here, here's the problem, right? Do you think was it was it cheap? Do you think it was cheap for him to make uh, to make uh, Black yeah. Panther? Because uh, everybody's black, got black, like well, Black right? Panther. They got them all. Huh? Well, the last one was a bit of a farce. I didn't see the last one. Yeah, there's a reason. I interviewed a couple. Last of them. or the second one. Last one. The last one. <laughs> Carry it. You're, you're probably not going to make another one. Alright. Uh -huh. It wasn't the second one. It was the second one. No. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. There's the one that's on two. Two. Oh, yeah. on two. Yeah, I guess. There's the one with Captain America. That, that was that wasn't Black Panther. That was Captain America. Yeah. yeah. And, then, and then there was Begin. Then there was Black Panther. Then there was Black Panther 2. We need Jason Momoa. It's one kind of forever. Jason Momoa. We need to have a crush so, with Jason Momoa. Five top possible roles for Jason Momoa to appear in for a Marvel movie would be Hercules, Beta Ray Bill, Kazar, which is a Marvel Tarzan, Nova, and Sabretooth. My nah, last one, that could probably really work. Anyway, a word from our sponsor, Mupo Entertainment. Carry on. So going back to uh, uh, well, to your projects, is there one that means more than another? Well, there's a project that's uh, going on in uh, Berks County area. Okay. That um, it's uh, maybe I've heard. It's called Founders Day. Berks uh, County's in Pennsylvania. Um, it's about historical events and uh, the closing down of one particular event that was citywide that was traditional, and uh, it's. It covers the scope of like how the police wanted to shut it down and how the mayor gave approval. In Berks County? In Berks County. Is okay. this is this recent history? Yeah, we really I can't really go into it too much. One because of the political aspects behind it. Is it more He's covering the hey, mic like it's hey, on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's so ridiculous. All right, all right, got it. You hear me? Because of the political applications behind the, the actual oh God, film. And and did he do jail time? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> no, I got it. <laughs> uh, uh, we're, we're just going to skip over to. All right. um, so, you're doing a local film. I am doing a local film. All right. Is, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to get you kicked out already. <laughs> yeah. Right? But um, it'll no be. No one did raise his rent. But it'll be the truth. <laughs> That's all that counts. It'll be the truth. Wow, yeah. that's interesting. So, huh. so all I gotta say about Berks County is in 1954 they had over 1.2 billion dollars in revenue. Yeah, what happened? Where did they go to that? Yeah, where did it all go? The mafia. Left well, it. I'm gonna tell you what happened because in 1972 Nixon took the gold standard off the dollar bill, which made it a fiat currency. Well, no, the mafia so, right. so, so that's where. Well, hold on a second, because now we're gonna get into the politics of things. Oh, no, so what what I mean, yeah, we're not doing politics. We're not doing politics. We're not doing politics. We're not doing politics. Probably one of the greatest recent history presidents. And what I think makes him great is that he knew when to step down. Well, he also was involved in the credit card to get all of us 
<laughs> paycheck to paycheck with the credit card, it's because of him the credit card is out there. Okay. Right. Next oh. we got it's like it's like hopefully oh, oh, I'm not a crook. <laughs> he wasn't a crook. <laughs> not what he was. So going back to uh, talking about Berks County and politics and or something like that, there was I was looking up the mayors of uh, the town where we're from. Way back in recent history, there was just one guy. He won three terms, not in order. So there was always another guy in between. So he got three terms. His name was Stump, and he was the only socialist mayor for any city in Pennsylvania. Hmm. Great. That was, His name that was, was great Stump. Fun so fact. I remembered it. Yeah. <laughs> so glad that I know that. Oh, well, now you know that. Yeah. You know? And you know what they say. that ever comes up in like. On another note. We on did, a quiz we, show. We do need to start practicing for <laughs> the, 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 the crop. Well, we have some other pictures. The crop rock? The crop. Crop rock? The crop rocket? What? It's South Rock. Crotch. Crotch. What is the name of that bar in Allentown? <laughs> crop rock? Crock rock. They closed down a long time ago. Did they really close yeah, down? Yeah, crop rocks were closed for about 10 years. Well, we're we are actually going to be showing some action rock. shorts soon. Okay, action shorts. Are you going to oh. wear the white robe? Okay. Okay. That's so. That's it. <laughs> Barrage is so quiet. Why? That's Barrage's thing, man. That's his thing. Silent but dead. Barrage. He had so some mess. Right? He's, He's a lot. Yeah. Did you just refer he, to him as a fart? <laughs> no, I said silent. What did I just say? Yeah. Silent but deadly. Fart. Silent but dead. It's a fart, man. Well, hey. Oh, damn, she deserved it. Yeah, that was a barrage back was there in case. Oh, was it a squirrel? Yeah, it was a squirrel. There's a squirrel in the house. <laughs> Your cat's name is Squirrel. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> no one knows what's going on anymore. <laughs> Welcome to North Jersey. <laughs> There's a squirrel in the house. Holy cow. All right, so we were going back. What were we talking about? Um, your ventures. In the movie industry, okay, well, you can't talk about it because well, you didn't sign any paperwork. Well, I can uh, talk about the action shorts that we're going to start shooting. Okay. Uh, there's On the next podcast. Uh, <laughs> are, we, are we done recording? <laughs> you got me. No. <laughs> definitely got me. Stop. <laughs> Why do you keep covering that thing? Oh. So, yes. why is it important to you? And everything's important to me because you know what? Why, just, why is it important to me? Why is it important to me, Jill? Answer it. Because it is your livelihood. It, it is. is. Your, it's it your is. projects, your brainchild. Well, <laughs> I would have to say, still I just want people's thing? dreams to come true. Yeah, what, what, what said it? What are we talking about right now? No, we're talking about Mupo. So it. basically, no, he said it. if you had a dream, right, and you always wanted to be in the entertainment industry, then take it to Mupo. Take it to Mupo. So if you have it, bring it. <laughs> if you don't have it, then go get it. If but you really, if you do have it, go get it checked out. <laughs> and you think it's more of it. No, if go you get you it don't, well, If you don't have it, but you do have it, then you don't need it. Yeah, you're screwing it all up. No, I'm not simple. You're kind of Come on, come on. Right. Yeah, it's kind of close. I'm not going to do it. That's Bruce's oh. thing. Jill's so quiet. Hey man, I'm, who's I'm on Bruce? It's an old spice commercial. Wait, wait, wait. It's an old spice commercial. She's old spice been commercial. listening to this song by yeah. Melissa Etheridge. Is she wasn't. Called? No, it's I Want to Come Over, right? So there's Time this one. Time to Want to Come Over? Konnichiwa. So she said, and if it was on right now, she would be singing. <laughs> yeah, I don't it know how to do it. It was on right spice now. <laughs> She's like, doesn't talk otherwise, just sings. Mm -hmm. Do you sing? I do. Can you, uh, can you spit a nope. little lyric for us? Nope. <laughs> Come on, Jill, throw it out there. Nope. Bellow some out. Nope. Bobby sings. <laughs> Bobby sings. I'll do right. a duet with him. There you go, do a duet. Oh, all right. Do it. Let's do it. Later. <laughs> she said later, okay. not right now. <laughs> Off camera. Don't look at what's in your you yard. Want to go get one? No, don't be good at chicken. I dare you. You dare me to go get a chicken. You dare me to go get a chicken. Bring Patricia. You want Patricia? Yeah, This is true. All right. I don't. All right. We're going to get Patty. 
<laughs> Hold on. What are you doing? Go help She's her. Going to get her. I'm going to help her. No, no, she can. She, I'm sure she got it. There she goes. Oh, boy. She's going right. to get the chicken. Let's go on scene. Why does she have multiple pictures of her? Come on, camera. Like, you think someone thinks she has, like, five kids. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think she just likes her kids. No, they were What's going on some here? of those younger than oh, as yeah. they got older. And obviously, they're in uniform because they go to private school. They're like two years ahead of the normal public school shit. You know, there's a whole stereotype right now. I'm going to throw out there right now. <laughs> you got two Puerto Ricans out there chasing chickens in New York. Oh, just shit. saying. I'm just saying. Like, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm just oh, saying. Shit. I'm so kidding. Wait, here comes the chicken. I'm not even kidding. Hoping. Oh my god, look at it, here's the chicken. Wait, jump in the chicken over. Alright, so we got a special guest here. Again, you gotta bring the chicken over. It's not Patricia. It's not Patricia. It's not Patricia. Oh, you gotta bring the chicken. Is the chicken. Go get Patricia! One thing about taking this show on the road is you'll never know what you may encounter. So until next time, carry on. Have you seen that? Have you seen that video? There's two chi the chickens that are looking at that. Okay. I don't know. Yes. Uh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. What, color, always... what color are her eggs? They are. Why do you keep talking to white? Hey, don't you think the cat's gonna eat it? Oh, you hear him? Yeah. No. Well, squirrel maybe. He stalks. Yeah, the squirrel window. already killed the damn he did, he did. hamster that oh, looked like yeah. me. Okay, let's cut that part. Did it have horse sounds? Yes, yeah, it had horse sounds. It had huge horse sounds. He was a red hamster. He was a red hamster. I can't even hold that chicken. Yeah. But she's got a chicken that's like this big. Yeah. It's huge. I didn't bring that one in. It's a turkey. Oh, I got it. Chicken. I can eat. <laughs> Lord Jesus. There's a, there's a whole lot of stereotypes going on right now, Raj. <laughs> I can't. Yo, did you bring the seasoning, bro? <laughs> I can't even eat, like, you know how you guys eat the chicken wings? I can't eat them because the bones are attached to them. I think it's a little dog's legs. What? what? Some type of trauma! Right? Why would you think it's a dog leg? Because it... Okay. It's the same size as a damn French Bulldog leg. When were you eating French Bulldog I'm leg? not eating a French I'm Bulldog. Think... I'm against people eating meat with bones on it. Attached to it. With bones attached to it. No, that's a serious what? comparison you just it's, made there. I don't, I don't like... By it. name. So I you like chicken bacon. nuggets. I don't eat... I don't like chicken nuggets. So you like glue? Like, I like like... Do you eat flesh at all? No. Be any kind of meat. Well, I do eat meat. Yeah. I, eat, I eat meat, but there can't be bones attached to it. I get very upset. <laughs> so chicken tenders don't have bones. Okay, yeah, so I would eat that person. then. I don't know. I oh, never right. eat that. Okay. Shit. Hamburgers. That's the best. Yeah, I, I, I would eat that without bread. Yeah. Okay. I need a pork chop. Yeah. One second. I have some kind of pork chop. <laughs> <laughs> I put my God, was in tears. Really? Did I, you eat the pork chop anyway? Well, she gave it to me. This like, I didn't see the bone. What? That's correct. I, if I see yeah. the bone, I get very upset. Like, she's got, she's got, a, little, she's got a little trauma. We'll talk about it on another episode. Who the hell is that? What to you? No, I'm serious. I don't like people hurting out. I'd love to. So we can't so, eat meat. Michelle, food? no, what do you mean? Michelle doesn't like meat with bones on it. Okay? I don't like my bones with meat on it. No, but think about it. You guys are eating a chicken leg. That poor little chicken's leg. What? Or a thigh or something like that. Tastes good. Uh, yeah, dip in sauce. I think this way, if I don't yeah. eat it, somebody else will. I mean, that's, that's what you're going to That's what we're going If I don't eat it, somebody else is going to eat it. I'm going to roll the favor. Guys, I don't, I don't, I don't mean to turn any, anything around, but is anybody following what's going on over in uh... Afghanistan? No, nobody cares about that. We pulled out. <laughs> Wow, no, like a responsible guy does. Yeah. No, there's, 
Right? We ain't pull that for your titties. There's definitely troops in Iraq right now. We yeah. pulled out like every guy should. We don't talk politics on the show. What do you want? Oh, I was going to ask about, yeah, I was going to talk about politics. Right? I think you were. Because I like talking about stuff. That, you know, well, you know everybody what, talks about you that You know what broke my heart today? I'm going to tell you, is I have to say this. Somebody was on the IG and they put, they had a kid that was buried. Like they're killing kids and all of no, that. I, breaks I my heart. Wait, who is killing kids? I don't know, but somebody, there was dead kids with a whole U.S. Bunch politicians? Of, I, I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Oof, you just... We'll take care of this one too. Okay. Take my book. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He's not, he's not, he's not an attorney anymore. Stop right? giving him props, goddammit. Yeah, yeah. No, no for sure. I'll use Jill's arm as a prop. <laughs> I'll be like, come on. Use the baby arm. <laughs> oh my god, Jill. I just oh, you guys had it. <laughs> you got that, right? <laughs> Look at Jill's nails. Look at the bad. Those are, those are pretty. Very cool. Very pretty. Very cool. All right. So, are you going to use a baby arm? Hmm? A baby arm. Are you going to use a baby arm? A baby arm? You got to help. All right. Come on. Oh, wait. What's that? I don't know the one. Baby arm. Oh, I don't know what it is. Yeah, that's Jill's kids. What? Don't eat the one. You can see her standing behind me. You can see her standing behind me. You can see her standing behind me. I'll get up. I'll get up. It's okay. Just go upstairs. <laughs> Henry, shut the volume off. <laughs> They're just having a great time. Yeah, they are. No, they, she just wants to be on TV. Can you blame her? We're not on TV. I get nervous. Oh, I'm going to do some stuff, guys. How you doing? Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you being on your team. Um, <laughs> I've got to watch it. Uh, the little ones are on now, so. Yeah, they'll shut you down for that. Yeah, they'll shut me down for that. Yeah, this child is endangering craziness. You think we should? I'd love to. I know. Well, you I'd love to talk you about. And, you and I will be careful that chair's a little. I'd love a little crooked. Yeah. Five minutes. Might hit the ground. Five minutes. Speaking of crooked, let's dig to politicians. No. Listen, we got five minutes left. Let's go back to what we're here for. We're going to thank Michelle and Jill thank for you. being here. For letting us be welcome in your house. Yes. You know, thank you very much for letting us be a part of your, your little group today. You know, thank you for being on our show, part of the tribe, well, which are Arrow Moopo Entertainment. You know, definitely. And uh, like I said before, you know, we're uh, you know, we're gonna be shooting blow Netflix out of the water, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. Anything That's you guys wanna throw in there yet? Blowing anybody. Moopogala.com, get your tickets. Yes. I'll take one. <laughs> but you are going to use the baby on Joe, Joe's ready to blow the Netflix out of the park. <laughs> what a chore. Joe's going to use his baby arm. What a performer. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is that only three of us got that. Uh, yeah. All right, so yeah. You know what was really nice, though? What? He came here with a gallon of milk. For our, what was it, a half a gallon? That's what half a gallon, gallon of milk. milk. That's yes. what grown men do when they visit a lady's house. You're I didn't know that. To take it. <laughs> if your mom raised you, 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 seriously, if your mom raised you, you don't take juice. You go to the house that's got kids in it. I don't go to the house. You got milk. You don't take juice. And you need a milk. You know. No, that's true though. Sure. If your mom raised you, you know to bring a gallon of milk when you go to somebody's house or something. God, it's usually flowers or a bottle of wine. I don't think I've ever yeah. seen it in all my life. Well, that's yeah, because you want to use the well, baby arm. Did you bring flowers? No. I can buy I've been here before, though. That's not just true. Chris is smart and he knows I hate flowers. No. Mm -hmm. I think last time we heard we did bring wine or something. I think we did. Wine? Really? Yeah, I think we did. I don't know if we brought something. I, I brought something for the adults. I you know. brought gummy worms. Gummy we brought tequila. Worms. We no, we brought, we brought, we brought, we brought Patron. Patron. Yeah, I don't want to wait She's saving it for my birthday. She's saving it for my birthday. Saving it for the day in her It's cool. So Quickly. So cool. Because we, go ahead. You want to say no, something? No, no, these things. Oh. Oh, good. One, two. <laughs> Did you see how much fun he had? <laughs> so anyway, back to the gala. 
Yeah, so I'm excited. Oh, we have Pilar Scratch, uh, celebrity stylist. Um, she's definitely going to be there. Her son uh, is going to be there as well. He's a childhood actor. Right. And uh, yeah, it's going to be Pilar Scratch. So she knows and probably has styled many actors and actresses in the industry. Um, she's mainstream. Cool. Yeah. I'll show you a picture of her. She's absolutely beautiful. Wait. Speaking of mainstream actors and actresses, how many do you think are compromised? Leave it in the comments. 99 out of 100. All right. This is are, I mean, I'm not, are we talking no, like uh, it's politically like, compromised or uh, Pete Diddy compromised? Oh, he went there. Is, is, she, is she gonna be there? He went there. <laughs> you know, I had to. He's a paycheck for Pete Diddy. Oh, so wait, you're gonna see something bad? Uh, <laughs> just, just, just put it on the other one. Yeah. I don't know. Are we allowed to say Pete Diddy? I like, there's a whole bunch of words that get banded now, like. If Why you, did that get banned? Well, like they bleep certain words out now. Like if you say well, the word, you know. That's, that's what, what. But that's <laughs> why Lupo was started to stop. All no, you were something funny, and this is true. So we were talking about UFOs and aliens, and we brought it up twice. And in our stream, it literally like, psh, psh, like when you're recording. What if we're all aliens right. and we don't know it? We are aliens. We are. We're, I'm we're, we're prehistoric, <laughs> we are prehistoric aliens. We are. Aliens <laughs> are advanced human beings. Let's knock it off. Yeah, that's enough of this. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, we close this out. Yeah, right, we close this out, yeah, right, right? It's the end of that one there. All right, let's stop talking about it. For God's sakes, close out this episode. <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah, we're looking at you to do that. Thank you. Oh, we're closing out? All right, all right. So listen. Are we closing out? Yeah, we're closing out. All right, so this is the end of the episode. Thank you, everybody, for watching part of the tribe. Sexy Doug, man. No. Sexy Doug. Oh, jeez. I'm Christopher Dave. No, you're going to be Sexy Doug until we stop saying you're Sexy Doug. No, all the girls in Mupo call them hot pants. Oh, shit. That's a thing? Yeah, for real. Hot pants. Yeah, hot pants. You're not loving that down. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever, I'll be first. All right, so anyway, listen, I want to thank Michelle. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for having us here. Um, again, the book gala will be July 26th. Um, come check us out, buy your tickets, be a part of it. Be a part of something amazing. As always, we believe in you. We believe in the best in you. And this is Our part of the tribe. Good job, guys. Bravo, bravo. Right. Thank you.